Okay, this is a fun and unusual video for me because I'm working um, outside. I'm actually in Grand Canyon National Park in Arizona. I'm at my picnic table on a very, very, very windy Tuesday afternoon, and I'm going to show you um, a quick little painting technique that I learned from Robert Burridge, one of my favorite um, abstract painters, and he's a painter that makes it so much fun to paint. So I'm going to show you this first step. I have these kind of hard little uh, tags. They're a thick cardboard. They're already black, and I'm, I'm going to use these for gift tags or just little gifts or something. I'm not sure what, but it's a fun and easy thing I could do while I'm out on the road um, camping. So here I've taken uh, just a piece of paper with some acrylic colors on it and I did bring with me acrylic paints a set of acrylic paints and what I'm going to start doing is just taking colors and mushing them all over you don't have to put the same colors on every one but let's get some started on here and there's no rhyme or reason. Just uh, kind of put some colors around. And I am painting on black, so some of these colors are a little transparent. Um, and there you go. I just want to kind of make a mess. It's really, really windy here at the campsite. Let's get a little bit more. Oh, I have no red. And uh, kind of just go all over your tags. You can leave some of the black showing through. Not a problem. And there we go. Looks like a mess, but it's going to be really fun. So hold on, let me get these to dry and I'll be right back. Okay, so what we're going to do with those is we are going to create little uh, flowers little uh, still life floral and they're pretty quick and easy so here's one let me set it over here and I'll show you how we're gonna do that I'm gonna try to do it upside down um, first of all I'm gonna put in my background and let's see on this one let's do this as a background color I'm gonna shape in my little vase And I'm not being too careful. Then I'm going to shape a floral, a floral design, how I want my little abstract flowers to look. And this is not the best uh, acrylic paints that I'm working with. These are really transparent. They're, it was just a cheap little set I picked up so I didn't have to drag my, um, my paints with me. But I kind of like the effect. So, I go around and create my flowers, the shape of my flowers, the shape of my vase. Let's see, I want my vase to be like that. There we go. And then, I'm going to create, let's see, maybe I'm going to create a little white table here. This is my tablecloth. section that is my vase and there I've got now I can come back and go over this gold color 
to make it a little bit more opaque. But for right now, let's let's call the background done. Then I want to add a flower of interest. So let me pick a color. This is a really crazy color because um, I'm not sure about these paints, but just hit a blob. There you go. There's a couple little blobs. Maybe a couple of little petals have fallen on the table. Okay. And then maybe I'll add a little bit more yellow. touch of, of a green and keep please keep in mind I'm doing this upside down outside away from my studio that was maybe a few more flowers than I wanted so let's smush a couple of those out because I really want this one to be my main my main flowers okay so we got that, and then I think I will go back, and let's see what color, I'll make a dark green vase, and I just want, also, I'm doing this upside down, there's my vase, maybe add a little highlight to my vase, and then I'm going to want to add set it down, add some darkness underneath, and maybe a shadow line, and I could add a little color down in here. And there you go. There's another one. They go pretty fast. Okay, so now I'm going to continue finishing up the eight tags that I started. And um, once again, I want to remind you, mention that I'm painting these outside at a campground at uh, Grand Canyon National Park. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's inspirational. We also have 25 mile an hour wind gusts ha happening all day long for the last three days. So while it has made for beautiful days and starry, starry nights, it's not the best conditions to be painting in. But I continue on doing the same um, as I did in the first uh, few little tags that I showed you. And please, I do apologize for my fingers being in the way. I was more concerned with painting upside down so you could see what I was doing that I didn't even pay attention to um, the fact that you may not be able to see because there are my fingers. But I'm doing a reverse painting technique. That's why I started with just blobbing colors on. Those colors uh, that I originally put on will be the background flowers in my little mini florals and and then I go in and kind of add in uh, my predominant flowers the predominant colors that I want it to be um, and just kind of carve in uh, what I want the shape of the, the bouquet to look like and the vase to look like um, they all are done pretty much exactly the same just variations of colors and shapes so I hope that you enjoyed this and if you want to see more my favorite painter online painter that I learned how to do this from is Robert Burridge B-U-R-R-I-D-G-E he's a wonderful painter and he's all about having fun while painting um, and he does some really great videos. So if you get a chance to go on YouTube and check out, check out Robert, that would be great. And as you can see here, I'm going back and just add, uh, adding a little bit more color, making my little paintings a little bit more opaque. Um, as you'll see at the very end of the fin of this video with the finished paintings, some of them I went in and played with black ink and kind of outlined and add added some little designs, some enhanced them a little bit and just had fun. And that's what this was all about. Just having fun and being creative while I'm out in uh, the beautiful wilderness. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you get to try this, whether it be small or large. 
um, paintings. It looks great either way. And no matter what you do, these little paintings turn out so fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And check me out at denisecerrostudios.com. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.